All right, we're going to look at Clayton Thorson. Now, my thing is, he got a strong arm. The kid can throw, actually. Six foot four, 220 pounds from Northwestern. Most of the time, you see guys come from that college. They are journalists or, or doctors and things like that. But this guy, he want to be a quarterback. So we're going to look at him. We're going to see how he throws the ball or what have you. Now, he does have a strong arm, throws from a good base, and he swats when he throws, which is good. Throw more with his legs. And the problem is... And the issue with Clayton is this right here, accuracy. He's one of those guys that need to improve on his accuracy. You'll see all of the throwing mechanics are there. Launch it down the field like it's easy. And he can put ball in tight windows. You can see all of that. But he got a long way to go, especially as it relates to his overall uh, accuracy and ball placement. Those two things that he need to really work on. Watch how he throw this ball off his back foot. You don't supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> you don't. And he's able to just casually throw this ball off his back foot like he's in a park somewhere. And, of course, the blitzer is right in his face. And he's able to get the ball in the proximity of where it should be. So that's what I'm able to see from his game. However, on an NFL level, man. The guy needs to work on a lot of things. Now, it could come from comfort or it could come from, hey, he just not able to put the ball in the right places. Look, if this was a shoestring uh, catch or something like that, maybe the receiver could make him look good. There would be a lot of maybes. And this guy just don't have it. He just don't have the accuracy. I look through tons and tons of film to see where I can find a bright light as it relates to NFL film. And you see multiple incompletions. And look right here. The ball is kind of behind him. And the receiver is not able to make the proper adjustments. And it's just another turnover on down. And it's sad for it because a lot of people look at these preseason games. This is how they're going to put food on the table. This is how they're going to make their money. Now, like I said, the mechanics are there. You see him go through his progressions pretty well. His footwork is nice. The way he delivered the ball, explode out of his end. It's nice. Look at that explode. Look how he just climbs that pocket. That's what you want your quarterback to do. He climbs the pocket like he's a veteran, but the accuracy, watch where that ball has ended up being, in a sea of dark blue jersey. And the ball was just too tall for the receiver. Look, just too tall for him. You can say it sailed on him, but come on. <laughs> of course, if you're going to pass this ball, you want to lead him at least somewhere in this area. But that's a story of a different day. You see, it's a turnover. And, of course, another ball that was thrown. It's just, just horrible. But we look at Clayton as a project player, uh, a guy that's going to fit on somebody's practice squad, the Cowboys practice squad for right now, at least for two to three years. And that was almost picked off as well. I mean, everything you want out of a quarterback is there as far as his throwing mechanics, right? Perfect technique. The mechanics are there. The footwork is nice. The rhythm of his throw is there as well. But the accuracy and the ball placement, he's going to have to work on that. And hopefully, some quarterback guru coach is going to be able to help this brother out. I'm looking at everything. I can say he got it. Look, can missle the ball, can put the ball on the money when it's needed at times. But the level of consistency is just not there. And you would want him to be able to hit this guy. Look, you want him to be able to hit this guy right here. And there's no excuse. Look, number 80 is trying to make this team. For the Eagles, he's trying to make it. He comes off the slot right here, number 80, and he's open. Not that much pressure in his face. All he got to do is hit this guy in between the 8 and the O, and he's going to take it upfield. I think this guy can block him. He can get uh, chunks of massive yards, but the ball is too tall for him, too high. Ball placement, ball accuracy. You got to hit him on that play, and the ball is just too tall, way too tall. And that's not going to cut it. You got to be able to read defenses in the National Football League. Quick math, you got six down linemen, six guys that with their hands in the dirt. So you know for sure they're coming. You only have five offensive linemen. And, you, of course, you have your running back here. You want the quarterback to be able to see this. I'm going to get this ball out as quick as I can because I know that they bring in one more guy that my guy can block. And he hesitate. And, well, you guys know what happens when you hesitate. <laughs> you get creamed like that and let's look at it you could have hit this guy with the ball of course you know the blitz is coming from that side you're coming from this side you see him they're all everybody got their hands down in the dirt you can hit your guy from here he can take it and you know what he can do from there or number 94 is there but you can float this ball to this guy and he can take it upfield so there's numerous ways that you can look at this and then on top of that the running back goes untouched 
What is he doing with his life? He must have had some issues with the quarterback. And he gets the quarterback killed. At the end of the day, coach used to say, just get in the way. <laughs> Don't go untouched running back. And, and that's that's a sad sign for number 24. Uh, not being able to block well and not being able to identify this blitz. He should know too. There's six coming. <laughs> There's only five offensive linemen there. And you got to be able to save the quarterback. This can be a turnover on downs or this can be a whole bunch of things that's negatively happened. So we know he can get the ball out quick. And remember what I was talking about, consistency. He got to be able to be more consistent in his throws. This is preseason. I'm not talking about a regular season game. This is preseason. So everything should be vanilla. They don't know you from a can of paint. So you should be able to. To at least move the ball down the field. All right, so off of this play, I have to break this one down as well. Low snap ball, and let's look at his throw mechanics. They are there. <laughs> All of the the tools are working for him. The release is there. Everything is nice, but the accuracy and the ball placement is just not there. Uh, and we know that he's able to to get the ball down the field. And this is another throw. Nice. It was there, but the placement was wrong. And you got to throw this ball to the back shoulder. You got the receiver beating his guy. You got the cornerback with inside. So you pass it to this outside shoulder. Uh, I don't know if he's the receiver or the tight end. Would have been able to abuse him. Take a deeper look at it. Number 84 won off the LOS, basically. And all you got to do is place that ball on the back shoulder. The rest is history. But he places the ball into the inside and allowed the DB to make a play on the ball, which was pretty good by the DB standards. Now, throwing off your foot, off your back foot, I mean, you can still do it. You know, he's able to succeed off of this play. We got to look at his total body of work, Cowboy Nation. Uh, he's a developmental guy, regardless how you look at it. He's going to need time to develop and he got everything you want, the throwing mechanics, the, the non-fear factor of, of throwing the ball in tight windows. And he can get the ball there. So we'll see how this thing can work out. And in my opinion, this is going to be a lot of growing pains with that. We shall soon see. Uh, I want to know your thoughts. I really want to know your opinions of Clayton Thorson. Uh, do you guys feel that you have the longitude and latitude to wait to three to maybe four years for him to develop? That's a long time, especially in this modern day football world. Uh, let me know. Post your thoughts down below. Post your concerns as well. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Salute. I'm out. Peace.